Imagine you're driving home. It's been a normal day. Then, without any warning, a dark curtain falls over the vision in your right eye. It's not blurry, it's just gone. Your heart starts pounding. You pull over, covering one eye, then the other. The darkness is only in the one eye. You wait, terrified. Then, 30 minutes later, just as suddenly as it appeared, the curtain lifts. Your vision is back. Everything seems fine. You take a deep breath, tell yourself it was just a weird fluke, and you drive home. That decision, to ignore it, is the most dangerous decision you could possibly make. That experience wasn't a glitch. It was a warning, a final alert before a catastrophe. And I don't want you, or anyone you love, to make the mistake of ignoring it. I'm a doctor, and every week I see patients who had one brief chance to prevent a disaster and didn't realize what it was. Please do let me know in the comments if you or someone you know has experienced something similar, because what you just experienced is a stroke in disguise, and ignoring it can cost you everything. What our driver experienced is what doctors call amaurosis fugax, which literally means fleeting blindness. But let's forget the fancy name. What matters is what it feels like, a painless shade or curtain coming down over one eye. It can last for a few seconds or a few minutes, and then your vision completely returns to normal, and that's the trap. Because it goes away, it tricks people into thinking it wasn't serious. They tell themselves it was stress, or a migraine, or maybe they just stood up too fast. But here's what's actually happening. Think of it like a temporary clog in a pipe. For a few moments, the blood flow to your retina, the light-sensitive tissue at the back of your eye, is blocked. The most common cause is a tiny blood clot or a piece of cholesterol plaque that broke off from a diseased artery, often in your neck. This little particle travels up into the main artery feeding your eye and gets stuck. When it finally dislodges, blood flow returns and your vision comes back. Sometimes, an eye doctor can even spot these tiny cholesterol specks. But more often than not, by the time you're examined, your eye looks completely normal. This gives a false sense of reassurance, but the danger hasn't passed. In fact, it has just announced itself. Let's go back to our driver. He went home, relieved his vision was back to normal. He wakes up the next morning, but the world is different. The curtain that fell over his right eye yesterday is back, but this time, it's not leaving. The vision is gone, and it's not returning. He's now having a central retinal artery occlusion, or CRAO. This is an eye stroke. Unlike the temporary event, this is a full-blown permanent blockage. The blood supply is completely cut off. Your retina has one of the highest oxygen demands in the body, making it incredibly vulnerable when that supply is lost. Irreversible damage can begin in as little as 90 minutes. The window to even attempt to save the vision is incredibly narrow, often just four to six hours after it starts. Because our driver waited, he missed that critical window. The cells in his retina have died. The result is sudden, profound and permanent blindness in that eye. It's a devastating outcome and the most tragic part is that it was preventable. The temporary vision loss the day before wasn't just a weird symptom, it was a warning shot. It was a TIA, a transient ischemic attack or mini-stroke of the eye. It was a clear signal of an underlying disease that was serious enough to send clots into his bloodstream. By ignoring that signal, he lost the chance to intervene before the permanent disaster occurred. Here is the most critical fact you need to understand. An eye stroke is a stroke. Medically, a CRAO is a stroke of the optic nerve and the mechanism is identical to a brain stroke. The same plaque build up in your arteries, a condition called atherosclerosis, that can send a clot to your eye, can just as easily send one to your brain. In fact, the artery that feeds your eye is a direct branch off the internal carotid artery, the same major highway for blood travelling to your brain. This is why doctors take this symptom so seriously. When a patient reports temporary vision loss in one eye, it triggers an emergency stroke workup. It's not just about saving vision, it's about preventing a major brain stroke that could be hours or days away. 
Here's the brutal truth. The risk of a major stroke after a TIA like this is highest in the first few days. Recognizing that fleeting blindness for what it is provides a crucial opportunity to prevent a much larger catastrophe. Ignoring it is like hearing a fire alarm, turning it off and going back to sleep. The fire is still burning. So, who needs to be most vigilant? The risk factors for an eye stroke are nearly identical to those for a brain stroke or a heart attack. They are all linked to your cardiovascular health. The major ones include high blood pressure or hypertension. This is a massive risk factor. High pressure damages the lining of your arteries, making them ground zero for plaque and clots. High cholesterol, high levels of bad cholesterol directly contribute to the hardening and narrowing of your arteries. Smoking. This is one of the worst things you can do. It speeds up artery damage, raises blood pressure, and makes your blood more likely to clot diabetes. People with diabetes have a much higher risk for all types of vascular disease affecting the eyes, brain, and heart. Carotid artery disease. This is a narrowing of the large arteries in your neck that supply your brain and eyes, a very common source of the clots that cause these events. Heart conditions. An irregular heartbeat like atrial fibrillation can cause blood to pool and form clots in the heart, which can then travel anywhere. Risk increases as you get older, with most eye strokes happening in people over 60. If you have these risk factors, you need to be aware of your body's warning signs. But anyone can have an eye stroke. The key is not to panic, but to act fast. If this information is helping you understand the real danger behind what seems like a minor eye problem, please take a moment to share this video. You never know whose life it could change. Our goal here is to give you clear, actionable health information that could one day save your life or the life of someone you love. If you ever experience sudden, painless vision loss in one eye, even if it goes away, you must treat it as a medical emergency. Do not wait. Do not call your optometrist for an appointment next week. You need to go to the nearest emergency room immediately. When you get there, they will start a full stroke workup. This isn't just about your eye, it's about your brain and your heart. They'll do an eye exam, but then they'll move on to check the source. You'll likely get an ultrasound of the carotid arteries in your neck to look for blockages. An ECG to check your heart's rhythm for problems like atrial fibrillation. Blood tests to look at cholesterol, sugar and clotting factors. And you may get a CT or MRI scan of your brain to see if you've also had a silent stroke. The entire goal is to find out why this happened and to stop the next, potentially more devastating, event from occurring. Treatment is all about stroke prevention. You'll likely be started on medications like aspirin to make your blood less sticky. If it's a heart issue, maybe stronger blood thinners. If they find a severe blockage in your neck, you might even need surgery to clean it out. But none of that can happen if you don't go in. The story of our driver had a tragic ending, but it didn't have to be that way. His mistake wasn't having the vision loss. His mistake was thinking it was nothing because it went away. An episode of temporary blindness is a gift. It's an unambiguous warning that something is wrong with your circulatory system and it gives you a precious opportunity to fix it. So, here's what I want you to remember. Sudden, painless vision loss in one eye is a medical emergency until proven otherwise. Thinking of it as a potential stroke could not only save your sight, but it could also save your life by dramatically reducing your risk of a major brain stroke. Long term, the best prevention is managing your risk factors. Control your blood pressure, manage your cholesterol, quit smoking and move more. It's all the same advice for preventing a heart attack because it is all one interconnected system. Your eyes aren't separate from your body. They are a direct window into the health of your blood vessels. When they send you a warning, listen. It might be the most important thing you ever do for your health. If this video has helped you, please take a moment to subscribe and consider watching this next video on the screen now, which has more life-saving health tips. I will see you there.